Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we will see what is dynamic SQL. So before going to dynamic SQL, uh, whenever we are writing any common query, it is nothing but a normal static SQL. So what exactly happens when we are uh, writing a static SQL is it will do the compilation at the compiling time and then will execute the same query at the runtime. So what do we mean by compilation is? So compilation is nothing but it just checks the syntax like uh, whether whatever variable we are giving is like uh, properly declared and also whether the table names, column names, whichever we are giving is a valid one or not. So it just checks the syntax that's it that is what happens at the compilation time ok. So as I said when we are uh, using a static SQL it will uh, compile at the compilation time and uh, will execute at the runtime ok so this is what happens when we are using a normal static SQL ok so now coming to the uh, dynamic SQL in dynamic SQL what happens is the compilation and the runtime so sorry the compilation and the execution both happens at the runtime Okay, so that is what the main point of uh, dynamic SQL is: the compilation and the execution will happen at the runtime. So, what is the advantage of using this dynamic SQL? Is it is very useful when we don't know the column names or else the table names, uh, you know, till we go till runtime. So, when we are using unknown or else we can say it is very useful when we do not know the column names or the, the table names just the way how we write a normal query we say select star from employee right we know the table name but some of the times we will not be knowing what is the table name it has to be inputted by the user or something at that time this dynamic SQL will come into use. So as I said it will be useful when we do not know the column names and uh, table names all those things until we go to the runtime ok. So that is the main uh, advantage of this uh, dynamic SQL. And another thing that uh, we need to notice uh, in uh, dynamic usually oracle uses uh, what we call as uh, in say late binding late binding in the sense uh, as I said uh, the compilation uh, will happen and the uh, compilation execution both will happen at the runtime right at the runtime. So, this is called as late binding. So, Oracle uses late binding for uh, dynamic SQL and uh, early binding for static SQL ok. So, these are the things we need to remember when it comes to uh, dynamic SQL and uh, another thing uh, we need to know is what exactly happens is whenever um, you know in dynamic SQL what happens is Oracle will simply uh, you know compile actually it does not compile but simply passes on uh, without uh, compilation and it will actually compile that is uh, we can say a fake compilation will happen uh, will happen at the compilation stage but actually it does not compile ok but actual compilation will happen at the runtime ok. So, this is another point that we need to remember. So, these are the things uh, about uh, dynamic SQL. So, coming to the methods of uh, implementing how we can implement this uh, dynamic uh, uh, SQL is methods of implementing is uh, there are there are two types that I know one is uh, using the execute immediate which is very common 
uh, we can uh, you know run our uh, ddls and all we know that we we cannot directly use our drop or truncate commands and all in our plsql right so we can use this e uh, execute immediate for executing the ddl commands we can see how we can work on that in the coming tutorial then the second uh, method of implementing is uh, using a package called called um, something called dbms underscore sql ok package so this is a uh, one package where uh, it even this is also used in um, implementing this dynamic sql so st the steps in this using of uh, dbms sql i won't go much detail in it but there are various steps like uh, you need to you know uh, just this dbms sql is the package name along with the package name uh, we know that we have already seen how to use the packages in all in our previous tutorial so whenever we are executing the package we know first we need to mention the package name then the you know uh, uh, you know uh, prefix sorry, sorry postfixing the function or else uh, the procedure name we know that very well right so in the same way when we are using this dbms underscore sql package there are certain things like uh, first of all we need to use dbms underscore sql dot open cursor then there is something called parsing then bind variable execute all those things so we won't go much in detail with this dbms skill but i will be uh, teaching you regarding execute immediate in my uh, next tutorial and also we'll see what are the advantages of this dynamic sql in my next tutorial hope you guys have understood what is dynamic sql uh, if there are any queries then please do mail me and uh, please uh, keep supporting my videos and subscribe like my videos then comment below this video and thank you very much for watching